Hello everyone, Ron Berger here, coming to you from astrologynewsreport.com. So let's take a look at the upcoming planetary patterns and predictions for this coming week. What's in store in the heavens for October 5th to October 12th and beyond? The big news in the Zodiac this week is the total lunar eclipse, which will be on Wednesday, October 8th, at 21 degrees Pisces. A lunar eclipse happens when the full moon lines up with the shadow cast by the Earth, such that the shadow completely covers the disk of the moon. This will be the second in a series of so-called blood moons four total lunar eclipses, which are happening at roughly six-month intervals. Assuming weather conditions permit it, the eclipse will be visible over North and South America, all of the Pacific Ocean, Australia, and most of Asia. In the USA, the eclipse will begin after midnight and be over by dawn on Wednesday. The thinking is that the events associated with an eclipse will occur in the parts of the world where the eclipse is visible. Eclipses were considered by the ancients to be portentous, in other words, foretelling forthcoming changes, usually bad. Often the events associated with the eclipse occur after the eclipse, when another planet subsequently interacts with the eclipse degree. This eclipse has the misfortune of being tightly conjunct Uranus and magnified by the trine aspect of Jupiter, creating an energy pattern that really emphasizes the surprise element. Also, Jupiter is in the moon sign Cancer the eclipse is in Jupiter's sign Pisces. They are therefore in each other's signs, forming a Parivatna Yoga. This further reinforces the effect of Jupiter on the eclipse and vice versa. The resulting energy pattern indicates the potential for extreme events. As if in the midst of its own opening act, the Earth itself has been convulsing a lot recently. Over the past several weeks, volcanoes have been erupting in Iceland, Hawaii, Italy, Ecuador, Mexico, and most recently, Japan. An eclipse sensitizes the point in the zodiac where it occurs. Any subsequent interaction from another planet will trigger events, which will usually be connected with that planet's significations. The energy lingers on long after the eclipse is over. Earthly events associated with an eclipse can manifest for months after the celestial event itself. In a personal chart, an eclipse signals changes coming to the part of life indicated by its house position. In this case, since the eclipse is in Pisces, Watch for forthcoming changes in the part of your life signified by the house placement of the sign Pisces in your natal Vedic astrology chart. If you have any natal planet around 21 degrees Pisces or opposite, you are more likely to be affected. Here's an example chart of someone we have all heard of. For the past couple of weeks, since the end of September, Venus has been in a bad way. The planet of love, agreement, guidance, finance, and pleasures has been in its sign of debilitation, Virgo, and simultaneously combusts the sun. This week, Venus gets additional trouble from Uranus, the planet of sudden, unexpected events. The exact opposition will be on Saturday, October 11th. Venus significations are in the toilet already, and now the planet of the unexpected will jack things up further. Also, Venus in this position will be exactly opposite to the October 8th eclipse point, another indication of something happening. 
So what are the implications? Watch for some surprising events, likely of the negative variety, involving what Venus represents. Financial markets will be volatile, to say the least. There's a high potential for leaders, ministers, and pundits to go off the rails and offer some extreme viewpoints. Venus is the planet of the arts, entertainment, and young females, so there's probability for something unusual coming from that quarter. Thanks for visiting astrologynewsreport.com. I'll be posting updates during the week on Twitter at Astro News Report.